but uh, taking advantage of this this great collaborative scene, I'd like to call Helen Melny back on stage to, but to backing vocals for this next piece. Uh, so uh, this is one with a bit of music in the background. Helen can do a bit of humming. So uh, if the music maestro could hit it, please. No, no, no. Wild dramatic music plays in the background. Listen, people, I'll give you the lowdown on relativity. The general kind, merging mass, energy, space, and time in a few brand equations. Yes. Uh, Robin, I like what you're doing, but uh, to be honest, when I said I'd do backing singing, I was completely lying. I've got something a little bit prepared. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the old Newtonian theory of how mass interacts. It was pretty good, but now the rules don't match up with the facts. A change in planet's orbit, a change in how light bends. We want a better theory with equations that fit. And it's time to try defining gravity. Newton could find, I defy your gravity. A new theory must be found. That was very nice, Helen. Thank you. I think what we actually want is more technical details. Einstein worked it all out theoretically, understanding how falling in gravity means everything is uniformly accelerated, with other forces of course dependent on mass and weight is proportional counsels in inertia terms. That's why falling elements you struggle to calculate a difference between being in it or dismissive roji lift. But from outside, your path looks weight-like. We disagree on the meaning of straight lines. I get it, I get it. What you're saying is now now how Yeah, and then Newtonian physics just a limited approximation. Yes, a limited approximation. Newton's laws were limited. Yes, I see. Approximation to a truer hypothesis. Because <laughs> relativistic relations, they're true in all situations. But effective mass can depend on how fast the view is moving. So anyway, as I was saying, it's not all small factors that large fields and strong speeds. Einstein's relativity also changes light speed. That's how LIGO has detected these gravitational waves. Whatever. <laughs> Take the speed of light and name it. Then square the number C. Multiply by mass, you get MC squared equals E. This is only Nothing to do with how like it so works. Now